alaikum everyone my name is Abdurrahman from Afghanistan and today I will show you how to use VirtualBox with complete step-by-step -step guide so first of all let me tell you a little bit about VirtualBox what the VirtualBox is well VirtualBox is a software in which you can install Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows XP even you can install Mac OS inside your computer or inside VirtualBox uh, I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube about VirtualBox but none of them was completed. After watching those incomplete videos I have decided to make this complete tutorial for you guys. So I hope you like it. And so let's jump over to my computer and I'll show you how the things are done. So just stay tuned. To download the VirtualBox just go to Google and type Oracle virtual box type here Oracle then click on the first link where it says Oracle VM virtual box click on that and after that click on the downloads Downloads option Okay now if you are using Windows Windows then click on the first link where it says virtual box for Windows host just click on that if you are on Mac just click on second option if you if you are using Linux just click on the third one so so I'm going to click on the first one because now I'm using Windows and then click on start to download I'm not downloading because I already have one so once you have downloaded the virtual box this one don't forget to download the extension pack of the same version of the software without extension pack you cannot use virtual box properly to download the virtual box extension pack just just look at the version which version it is it, it's the 4.3.14 version and here is the extension pack of this version virtual box 4.3.14 oracle virtual box extension pack then click on this one okay guys after downloading virtual box and install it into your pc so in my virtual box I have downloaded is in this drive virtual box install it as usual okay once your virtual box is installed first of all go to file and install the extension pack uh, without extension pack you cannot use VirtualBox properly so first of all go to file then click on preferences then click on extensions so I have already installed so I will remove this one I will install it again for you so to install extension pack click on this button this little button click on that and find the VirtualBox extension pack wherever you have downloaded. So mine one is here Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. Click on open. Install. Now here you can see I agree is not act active now because you have to read all of these agreement. So scroll down and click on I agree. now extension pack is installed successfully ok click on ok and now we are going to create a virtual machine in virtual inside virtual box whatever you, whatever you install whatever windows you install is called virtual machine so i'm going to install windows 7 into my this virtual box so to do that click on new and uh, select the operating system you want to install 
you can install Linux, even Mac, uh, sorry, even Mac OS into into this VirtualBox. So currently, I'm going to install Windows. So I'm going to install Windows 7. So give it a name, Windows 7, and select the Windows 7 from here. Click on Next, and and then select select the RAM of the virtual machine that you are installing now so it's recommended recommended size for, for windows 7 is 512 mb it's okay for me so click on next select second option where it says create a hard create a virtual hard drive now click on that and then click on next create and then select the first option vdi click on next and then choose this option dynamically or located next and now from here from here you can you can you can select the size of your virtual machine size of the drives of your virtual machine I'm going to I'm going to give 20 gigabytes because 20 gigabytes it is enough for me so click on create and now our Windows 7 is created. And now how to? Uh, now it's created. Now how we can install Windows 7? Now how we can install Windows 7 from the CD-ROM? So here I have a Windows 7 DVD. I don't know if you can see it or not. So I'm going to put it to my CD-ROM. Just wait for it to load select the virtual machine click on start select your hard drive or CD-ROM then click on start ok now it's windows ok now our installation is started I will skip this part you know you know why because everyone knows how to install a uh, windows so I will skip this part. Okay, now we have successfully installed our virtual machine or Windows 7. Now, we are not done yet. We have a few more things to do. First of all, install guest edition in your virtual machine. Without installing guest edition, your virtual machine is like a car without engine. So, installing guest edition is very important. To do that, go to devices menu. Then, Click on install guest editions. Click on that. After that, go to your com my computer and open open your CD or DVD drive which is now changed to VirtualBox guest edition. Just open it and then select the select the one that that is VBox Windows editions just install that next next install just check mark this option always test software from oracle corporation then click on install ok installing guest edition installing guest edition allows you to share your your files from your original computer to your virtual machine 
So after installing guest edition, you have complete access to your original com original your original original computer's files or programs. So just wait for the installation of guest edition. Okay. After installing guest edition, your virtual machine will restart once. Just click on finish to restart your computer. Sorry, your virtual machine. As you can see now, it is when you maximize or minimize your virtual machine, it's not showing full screen. After after restarting your virtual machine, it will be on full screen. So just wait for the reboot. Okay, now our com our virtual machine is restarted. So now, now you can see we have full screen of our virtual machine. So, and now, and now I will show you how to share your files from your original computer to your virtual machine. As you can see, if we if I want to if I want to copy this folder, copy this folder. And paste it in, into my virtual machine. It doesn't. It doesn't work this way. You have to to share your files from your original computer to your virtual machine. You have to share a folder. To do that, go to Devices menu. Then click on Shared Folders. Then click on this plus plus sign folder. Now folder path, other, and now select a folder that you want to share. In my case, I am sharing my this virtual virtual box folder. You can also share a drive or a single file from your computer. So you can also share your D drive or C drive or E drive, whatever you want. But in my case, I am going to share my only one single folder. So select that then ok then check mark this option make permanent there are three options but you have to check make permanent so what it does is if you check this make permanent whenever you uh, whenever you change you change something on your folder it will update it automatically so click on ok ok again now right click on your my computer icon then click on map network drive and now click on browse okay select a, select a folder that you have shared in my case mine one is this one vbox svr select that then select the rest of that slash vbox svr slash vbox click on that and then click on OK. Now here make sure you have checked this option reconnect at logon. Then click on finish. And now we have as you can see we have we have the files from our original computer. These files also located in here in this folder. So Okay, now file sharing is done. So now I will show you how to how you can get access a USB drive from your original computer in your virtual machine. So I have a USB flash drive. Now I'm connecting it to my computer. Let's minimize this. Okay, now my USB flash is detected. As you can see here, I have USB flash drive in my original computer, but it will be not showing up in my virtual machine. As you can see, there there is no USB drive detected here. To do that, to get access to your USB flash drive, just go to Devices menu, then click on uh, select the USB devices. After that, select your USB device, whichever your device is. In my case, my USB drive is Kingston Data Traveler. Click on that.
okay i'm having problem attaching my usb to my virtual machine you can try that you can try you can try as attaching your usb like this so and now let's go to my computer and now i will show you how to how to share your cd rom or dvd rom with your virtual machine as you can see i have windows 7 dvd here but it's not showing in my virtual machine as you can see instead of windows 7 dvd i have something like as you can see it's empty so now i will show you how to share your dvd or cd rom to your virtual machine so to do that click on devices then cd dvd devices then click on host drive now you can see here is the windows 7 dvd ok guys this is how you can use virtualbox complete step by step and you know what making this video uh, making this video was not easy for me but but i made it on anyway so thank you for your attention i i hope i made you understand you know what making this video is a little bit complicated for me but i will i have tried my best to make you understand so if you have any questions just let me know on the comments below inshallah i will try my best to answer your every single questions so please don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel for my upcoming videos so see you on my next videos until then allah hafiz and tata